I have in my hand here a Triax link. Basically, it's an IO um, link amplifier and it's for use with the new Sky high definition boxes. The fundamental reason that this product has come onto the market and one similar to it is that with the new Sky high definition boxes, they have removed the RF2 output, which used to do two things. They would both provide a picture to a second television and also it would provide a nine volt output to be able to power a Sky Eye so you could change channels remotely from the second room. But that's no longer the case, simply because Sky are trying to push people to put in multiple boxes here. Um, but there is a workaround, and the workaround comes from the fact that this box has an I.O. port on it. So what they're trying to do, you can do with this, is you can use this I.O. link to create an RF signal to run to additional rooms. Now the Triax one has two key features that are better than their competitors, I would go as far as to say. So let's just look at what those are. So let's look at what's com common in this and traditional ones. So the first thing here is that we have a cable here with an I.O. connection on it here, and I would simply push into the I.O. port on the back of your Skybox. And the other thing here is we have an RF in here. So if we had a TV aerial, let's say with the a UHF aerial on our roof picking up the Serview uh, free channels, we actually run this into this unit here and combine it in with the output from the Sky uh, box here and run both the output from the Sky box with the 9 volt signal and also uh, the Irish terrestrial channels to the, to, uh, the additional room, okay? Now, in addition to that, so, uh, this Tri-Link has, so all IO links I've ever seen have them, those features on it, okay? But what this has in addition to that is two features. The first thing is, instead of having a single RF output on it, there's two RF outputs. And the reason that's very handy is, just say we have a TV aerial coming in, and we want to run that signal along with the Irish, or along with the sky output to the second room. Well, if we take that aerial out and, um, no longer have it connected directly to our television. Suddenly then we have Irish channels in, in the second room, but not in our first room. So for that reason, uh, Triax made the decision to add on a second RF uh, output on it. And that means that the local television, can the aerial signal can be looped back out to your local television here. And that's a handy feature, first of all. And the second thing is, and it comes down to the fundamental flaw uh, and problem that people find with IO links is that and very simple setups, such as we have um, you know, a standard three bedroom house and we have a box here, we're running an IO link to a second room and want to power a single sky eye. Generally, this unit will work perfectly in those circumstances. Very simple, very straightforward. But if it's a longer run, or we have the complication where we have multiple televisions, uh, particularly if they're being fed by an unpowered link amplifier or something like that, the power output from this box may not be sufficient to power uh, in such circumstances. And then we're left with a situation here where we have picture dropout, or potentially what we'll actually have is uh, that we'll have picture, but it won't be sufficient to power the Sky Eye. So how do we get around that? Well, uh, what Sky have, or what Triax have very cleverly done is they've done this in a modular format, and they add a possible add-on which we have here, which is a power unit, okay? And what happens with this power unit is, uh, the output on this is 12 volts and 100 milliamps. What we can do is we can actually come along and if we see the port on the top of this I.O. link here, we can insert it in here and it gives a signal boost. And now suddenly the power output from the I.O. links is a lot more powerful and a lot more consistent. So we can comfortably link it back into an existing link amplifier system, something like that. It can power multiple eyes and it'll work where one won't. One, one. So generally what people's approach is, is that they, if they know they have a complicated setup, they'll buy the power unit with it initially. If they have a, a one that's just a touch and go whether it work or not, they'll just buy this and if they find out they get any problems, they'll simply come along and buy the power uh, unit at a later point. But overall, we'll say, I would say because of that, uh, general professionals and people generally will have a preference for using the tri x one. But having said that, that, the other alternative ones on the market generally will work fine in most setups. But this is a more sure-fired way of doing it. So that's a, an overview of the Triax link. It's basically a, a, an I/O link uh, from Triax.